Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna try to run through this very quickly, but it's gonna be pretty boring and um, hopefully I'm not running too quickly where it's a little bit over your head. But I'm gonna talk about a couple of uh, profiles, um, different modes, and uh, some, some a little bit of troubleshooting on the gimbal. Um, it's, it's gonna be a whole bunch of different things and hopefully you guys get some information out of it, but it's, uh, it's helpful for me out in the field and some people had questions about, you know, oh, my, my camera horizon's a little off or, I'm, you know, it's kind of drifting when I do this or, you know, there it could be all kinds of possibilities why you're not getting um, optimal performance from a gimbal, not just this one, but any gimbal that's based on the, uh, the Alex mode. So I'm going to talk a little bit about those um, profiles, a couple of, you know, differences between the modes and how that can affect some of your performance and some things that you guys could do to, you know, better set up your gimbal for out in the field. So obviously the, the one thing you don't want to do is bring your laptop and connect a USB cable every time you have to make a change to, uh, you know, center out your gimbal or, or anything, right? So there's a couple of modes that I like to use, and we're going to talk about that. Now, if you guys have any of the, uh, these gimbals, um, maybe some of the newer 7800 gimbals, some of these profiles are going to be familiar with you. But there are three main profiles in uh, the K-Mini 2. Uh, profile 1, um, let's go to profile 1. Profile one follows both your tilt and your pan, right? So if I tilt back, it's going to tilt. And then if I pan, it's going to pan, right? Okay. Profile two is not going to follow my tilt. So if I pull back, it's not tilting, but it will follow my pan. Okay, so I can still pan. Profile three, okay. Profile three will not follow my tilt, nor will it follow my pan. See, camera stays level or uh, locked in. Now those are three basic modes in the uh, K-Mini 2. Now, if you connect the software, uh, try not to change anything else because I'll get in trouble for telling you guys this, but if you go into the software and you go into your service tab, so in the service tab, profile one is set to, uh, one click is set to profile one, two clicks, profile two, three clicks is profile three. So that's the default setting on the K-Mini 2 that you guys should get. Now, I'm not sure if this is set up this way, but um, this is how I set it up. Profile four, I set it to calibrate the uh, sensors. And profile five, calibrate gyro. And your long press, I set it to home position. Now, once you set this, this should carry through every profile, but double check by going through your profiles and making sure that this area here is the same on profile two and profile three, four or five, et cetera, right? So um, make sure that all of these settings are set up. All right, so now that we have those modes set up, we don't need to connect to the computer when we're out in the field and we wanna recalibrate our system. So I'm gonna to go to profile one and I'm gonna show you something. Profile one has follow on both tilt and pan. The problem is that with following tilt, uh, this guy right here, it also influences your roll, okay? So if I turn this, my camera horizon is totally off. So if you guys are using profile one, where you're doing a follow mode on the tilt and you're following on your pan, the weight of your camera, the movements that you guys do, uh, just the momentum, can influence the horizon of your camera, right? So if I'm swinging this around and the weight of my camera gets thrown a little bit, I've really just adjusted the horizon on my camera. So if you guys are handling this thing and you're like, man, every time I make sharp turns or I'm whipping it, my horizon is a little bit off. So that's profile one. And it does this because it's actually just following. It's in follow mode. So I'm going to reset this. Now, remember, I set my long press to home position and home position is where you calibrated your gimbal and I'll, I'll show you that in a second but long press okay so with profile one it influences your horizon as well as your tilt let me um let me reset my home position by calibrating my sensor my actually calibrating the whole gimbal Four, uh, profile four, remember we set that in service mode. Calibrate 
sensors, right? So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna hold this dead straight as best I can. Okay, profile five is the gyros. That also helps to keep your gimbal frame straight. Okay, all right. So profile one, if you guys are whipping around, doing certain moves and just the weight of your camera will can throw off the, uh, the horizon of your gimbal. If we go to profile two though, now profile two will follow on the pan, but it won't follow on the tilt. And because it's not following on the tilt, it won't be influenced on the roll. So if I tried to move this, you'll notice that it's going back to its home position, right? So all those whips, pans that you guys do is most likely not gonna affect the horizon of your camera very much, as well as the tilt. So if I tried to move this camera, it's gonna try and go back to its home position. But the pan, profile two, the pan still has follow mode. So if I whip this, my pan, or my, my pan is gonna be off. So in profile three, you disable all those modes. So if you guys are planning on doing a tracking shot, but you're doing some aggressive movements, you want to make sure nothing is being influenced in those follow modes. So let me go back to home position. Remember, hold it, long press, that's what we set it to. Profile three. So profile three, we no longer have influence on our pan or our tilt or our roll. So if I was to do this, we come back to our home position. If we did this, we'd be back in our home position as well as the pan. It would want to return back to its home position. So if you guys are finding that as you're using the gimbal and things are getting offset, like, you know, I'm using it and all of a sudden it's tilting this way or it's rolling this way or my, my pan is going this way, um, it may not be the, the sensors being off calibration. It could just be that the gimbal is set on those follow modes and it's being influenced by, you know, the weight of the camera or the movements that you guys are doing and it's just following you. It's that's the position it's naturally going to be at. So if you want it to go back to center, um, think about those different modes and think about what's influencing, um, you know, those modes. And most of the time it's the horizon. And so what I do is I use profile two a lot because, um, it doesn't influence. Let's go back to profile two with profile two. I'm able to track someone by just panning all the time but I don't have to worry so much about my horizon being off because it's gonna return back to the home position. So profile two will do that. Now you do know profile two has no control on the tilt follow. So you can use the joystick to do a tilt follow and you can change the speed and the sensitivity of your joystick in the software. So here I'm just using my, my joystick to do tilt. Now one of the other things that I've done is I've disabled pan on the joystick because the joystick, it's a two axis joystick where you have both pan and tilt. But if I'm controlling the tilt, I don't want to accidentally pan the camera at the same time. So I've disabled the pan and now I only have tilt control and the pan, I can always just pan the handles manually. And now with that setting profile two with the joystick only on tilt, my horizon is going to stay, uh, most likely my horizon is going to stay pretty much the same. So to change that, you go into your RC tab, and then at the top here, you wanna make sure you have no input on your roll and no input on your yaw, and you only have pitch, which is your tilt. So you hit right. Now that should carry over to all the different profiles, but if it doesn't, make sure you go to your profile two, double check these settings and save them. Make sure you're in your profile three, and make sure you have all the same settings as well. Now profile four and five, you don't have to worry about so much because in our setting where we set profile four to calibrate the sensors and profile five to calibrate the gyros and long press for home position. So um, to reset our home position, I don't know if I showed you, we, we want to calibrate our sensors. So if I did this one, two, three, four calibrate sensors, and I actually held it like this, I'm basically telling my gimbal, this is squared up. This is straight, this is level. This is where I need my gimbal to be all the time. So as I said in profile three, we're disabling all our follow modes 
So if I wanted to influence this, it would go back to its home position, home position, and home position. Now if I go to profile one, remember it's influence on all the follow modes. So if I change my pan, it would probably stay there. If I change my roll, it would probably stay there. So we want to get back to our home position. So we do hold the long press and we're going back to our weird, awkward home position. So out on the field, you don't have to connect to the computer. If you want to recalibrate your gimbal, set your profile four to calibrate your sensors, profile five for your gyros, long press for your home position. So now if my gimbal is just not right, I'm going to go put it on the stand, make sure everything's level, hit it four times. Just try to hold it square as best I can. Go five times. And this is gonna be our new home position. So if for some reason I'm in profile one and I'm running around and I awkwardly throw everything off and I'm like, okay, let me start over here. Just do a long press and we'll get it back to our home position. Now, I mentioned that your follow modes can influence the level of your, your camera, right? Your tilt, your roll, your pan and all that stuff. Another thing that can influence the position of the camera is the joystick. So if you have tilt, if you have pan, and if, even if you have roll set on the joystick, the joystick can actually have a, you know, a little bit of a leak, basically. It's, that's probably not the right term, but it's, it's a trim setting. So if you've ever built like an RC car, you've just owned uh, an RC remote, there's usually a trim setting on the remote. And, and that is what you need to adjust specifically for that remote or that joystick. And not every single joystick in the world is made exactly the same. Some of them may be a little bit off on the voltage that they're inputting and outputting. So you would set the trim so that the gimbal knew what is neutral, right? So I don't know, maybe my joystick screwed up and it's sending out two volts and um, it would normally screw things up. But if I said, hey, two volts is my neutral position, then it would ignore all commands and it would just, you know, say that's neutral. Now, just to show you an example, I'm gonna go into the RC tab and I'm gonna scroll down and we have this uh, sub trim here. And my pitch right now is set to five because that's the neutral position of this particular joystick. Yours could be different. So if for some reason you're saying, oh, you know, as I'm operating my, my gimbal and my joystick controls my tilt and my roll or my pan, but after shooting for a few minutes, everything's a little bit off. Well, your joystick may be slowly changing the position of your camera. And as an example, let me show you, I'm gonna change my pitch trim, which is my tilt, to something like, uh, I don't know, 40, right? So let's do 40. And if I hit right, if we take a look at this, you'll notice that my, my tilt is slowly changing. Now I'm exaggerating the trim on my joystick, but you'll notice that it is slowly changing. It's just drifting over time. And that could just very well be from the joystick. So I'm gonna change this back to five. So, and then I need to tilt this back over so it's straight. Actually, I could have just went to my home position, but uh, there you go. Okay, so if you feel like, you know, my, my, my camera is slowly turning or it's slowly tilting or my roll is slowly drifting, check your joystick settings. Make sure that um, your sub trim is set correctly. Uh, check what your joystick controls because it could be controlling the positions of that and, and changing, you know, the position of your camera, basically. It's not gonna be, stay squared up. And now there is an auto mode here. So um, as long as you're not touching the joystick, the joystick is set to its neutral position, you can hit the auto mode and it will detect what the values are and then you can just hit right. And that should be neutral on your joystick to where it's not asking your gimbal to tilt or pan or roll or anything like that. So. That could be another reason why your gimbal is not holding its heading and why it's not holding straight. 
um, the joystick could be influencing that. Just to backtrack, remember your follow modes can influence your camera position as well. Uh, your follow modes in profile one follows both your tilt and your pan, uh, as well as the roll, unfortunately. So, and the roll is tied in with the tilt. So if you're worried about your horizon not staying level, don't use profile one, use profile two. And then to control the tilt, just use your joystick to control the tilt. Now, if you're worrying about your camera moving on the yaw as well as the, uh, you know, the, the roll and the pitch, use profile three. That just locks it in. And it doesn't just lock it in to where it's not responding. It actually tries to go back to its home position. So if I go to three, I think that's three. Uh, if I was to move this, you'll notice that it wants to go back to its home position as well as the roll and as well as the tilt. So this using profile three is probably going to be better if you're, you know, doing a quick follow and you're, you're turning the camera around or you're whipping it around. Um, it's going to try to get back to its home position. Remember in profile one, if we had a heavy camera set up and we whipped it around and the momentum of the camera, just the weight of the camera moved it, then it's going to retain that. It's not going to go back to its home position because we have these follow modes on. But if we're out in the field, remember, we can always use long press because we set that. And we can return back to our home position and kind of start over. Anyways, uh, that was a lot of rambling. Um, I don't know if that was something that you guys can understand, but, uh, you know, I'll try to summarize again. We added profile four to calibrate sensors, profile five calibrate gyros, long press return to home position. We have the default profile settings. Profile one follows both tilt and pan. Profile two follows only pan, does not follow tilt. Profile three does not follow tilt or pan. We also disabled the pan on the joystick. Uh, we only have tilt control. Also, we checked the sub trim or the RC sub trim on our joystick to make sure that it's not influencing our camera position by leaking controls. Um, so that's in the, the RC uh, tab. So. Um, I think I covered everything as far as uh, that, that goes. So if you're having trouble getting your gimbal straight, your horizon, your roll, whatever, check all those things, uh, set up these profiles so when you're out in the field, you don't need to connect to the computer. You could just reset your palm position, uh, recalibrate your sensors, recalibrate your gyros, um, and all that stuff. So anyways, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, check it out at the blog, cheesycam.com. This again is a Kame Mini 2, excellent gimbal. You just really have to understand software and understand why your gimbal is being influenced by the different modes that you have set up and how you can kind of accommodate that using the modes that I set up. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's just boring and rambling. But again, check out the blog, cheesycam.com if you guys have any questions.